Today we're going to be making a food plot, but for chickens, in a 600 square foot chicken run. It has to survive the pressure of 30 odd birds. We'll be doing that with a fodder table covered with mesh. Let's see how it goes. This year, we decided to pen our birds. Now our birds were used to being free range. That means that they had acres and acres of land that they could go over. That include grassy fields, compost piles, woods. So they had a lot in their diet. Bugs, grasses, everything that makes chickens healthy. But now that we've penned them, they've got mulch and dirt. So we want to add variety and we want to add protein into the diet. We kind of felt like that we took a step back and we want to take a step forward. Our gardens are doing great now. Chickens, not so much. We are planning on making a food plot for chickens using a fodder table. How we plan on doing that is basically putting a giant planter box on top of two tables that have six mil polyethylene plastic on top. We're gonna fill that with dirt. We're gonna put some one inch welted wire over it and then seed it. Now my chicken's wings aren't clipped, so they will have no problem jumping up here and eating the greens. So we've assembled all our materials that we will be needing. We've got our one by pine that we've shoshugi band. We'll drop the link below so you can see how to do that. We've got our welded wire, one inch by one inch, and we're gonna throw in some couple two bys so that we can strengthen it up a bit. So, let's get this project started. These are two tables from our greenhouse that are sitting side by side. We covered them with plastic. Now, since our pen is 600 square feet, we really wanted to add a little bit of extra vertical square footage. This adds a little extra protection for when it rains. They have somewhere to go besides hanging out in the coop. Then they have somewhere to graze on top. Because we don't want water to pool on our table, creating root rot, we've done two things. We've made a pitch so our water can freely go down, and we will be placing rocks at the bottom, creating a drain field. That will allow enough space where the water will freely flow. Now we're going to be putting landscape fabric on top of the rock so that we don't lose our dirt through it. If we didn't do that, it would pack down and eventually we'd get a muddy mess. So we're using smashed up shale, but you can use pea gravel, any type of gravel that you have lying around. The key is to create enough drainage where the water goes. on the bottom to create a barrier between the soil and the wood. Then after that, we're going to be using the landscape fabric as a barrier between the rock and the dirt. We're going to be putting in our dirt next. Our dirt is going to be a mixture of our own compost and horse manure. We're just gonna mix it in about five to six inches. It's gonna settle over time, so we wanna put it a little bit more than that. After that, we're going to put our forage, and the forage will grow up this length, hitting the wire, and anything excess over that, the chickens are able to eat. The plot seed that I picked for our chickens is Bow Stand. It's by Whitetail Institute. And I picked this because it had a variety of species in it. Now a lot of deer food plot seed can be used for chickens. It's all the same ingredients that you would find in a chicken plot seed. And more readily available. is six foot by seven feet. And because our wire is a width of two feet, we just want to support the edges by putting a two by four in the middle. Ah! 
So we cut our one by one welded wire roughly to shape, and now we're going to be screwing our scrap wood down to secure it all. Our food plot table is finished. It's assembled, the dirt is in, seed is cast. All that we have left to do is now wait for everything to grow. So it's not winning the beauty contest, but quick and dirty is how we get things done. Here's what it looks like after about two, three weeks. You can see the tops of the grasses already have chew marks. The chickens are already digging into it and eating as much as they can. <laughs> 